Yeah, it's spring. Not a whole lot's changed. So I'll hit you with kind of the more uh, biggest news coming out right now. Um, the aforementioned Don Chaney has been looking, again, really good, very physical, uh, not showing any signs of injury or slowing. Um, he's just he's just a kid that I've been high on. Keep him healthy again. I think he, he could be an elite back um, in the country. So he's been looking good in spring so far. Uh, no new shakeups on the old line. Everything's kind of remained the same. Um, I can help you. Uh, CC is now, uh, I've heard is, um, Francis Maui Goa. That's his nickname. So this helps me separate him. And then his brother's name, nickname is Kiko. So I'm like, all right, cool. This is going to really help me out when I'm trying to discuss football. Um, he's still maintaining that right tackle spot. Mirror ball spoke really well, uh, highly of him. He's like, you know, He's not guessing when he goes to him in the room. He knows what he's doing, why he's doing it, um, able to call out things. So, um, again, if you get Zion back, things could get interesting. I don't know how that timeline is really developing. I'm kind of hearing he's, he's kind of being protected in bubble wrap type deal, but I don't know. Um, the longer you sit out, too, your, your spot just ain't quite as solidified as you, you may think. Uh, they are they're really praising Jalen Rivers out there at left tackle, which he came in from uh from high school playing tackle. So he he started out at tackle. We kicked him inside because of Zion. Uh, he's playing left guard. So um, you know, we get Zion back in fall, I'm assuming, and then we can see if we're gonna be any other major changes up there. But uh right now I I, I you may be looking at the starting no line. Um as it is right now, something to just keep an eye on. There's a few guys out, um, but I don't think like Matt McCoy is a guy they really like as well. Matt won't be challenging for a starting spot this year. He'd be more um, looking for a backup role. Um, McCormick went back um, to uh, tight end one. He's a, he, so I don't know what to really make of that, but he has been elevated back to the first team. I don't know Skinner. I, I don't know what to make of that. If he's We've seen them Skinner clips. We know yeah, I mean, I see skin him. Like I said, man, he has a lot of ability. Um, you got to catch that ball, though. I, that's what I worry about. I haven't heard that that's what's going on. But when I heard that he's been, you know, demoted back down again, I'm like, man, I know he doesn't been out there dropping just shit he got to catch. That's just my mind. I didn't. I, nobody told me that. That's just in my mind. Um, that's it there uh, at the wide receiver spot. Uh, Jacoby Young was in a red nine contact, so I'm assuming he's a little dinged up. And so it was an opportunity for Isaiah Horton to get out there and start in his position. Um, to my understanding, did did look impressive. Um, definitely looks like he'll, he'll be an option to go to. I, I don't expect – I think our if our day one will be Restrepo on the slot. Um, I think you'll see Jacoby George on one side. And um, Kobe Young on the other side, I think, is what you'll see. But I think Horton will definitely be a guy that will get into the rotation, be a guy that spells um, spells the outside receiver. So um, promising there because it is a, he is a big body kid, not necessarily a burner type, but um, it does give us another big body out there. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the offensive side. Uh, if you look on the other side of the ball, um, we uh at corner i'll start the worst corner's still bad um mm -hmm. and it's going to be we're really going to have to depend on that defensive line where i do think we have some depth and some um at least on the edges for sure i think we got a lot of guys there and i think you know kind of how we used um use some of the guys last year to move inside and outside we'll have to get creative with that i think depending on some of the packages we'll be facing and you know, uh, Gidry likes to stand guys up a lot, too. So some of your defensive ends, like a lighter guy like Cyrus Moss, who still hasn't quite packed on weight yet, you may see him have a role because he, from my understanding, he's, he's still great at pass rushing, but he still hasn't developed the power to just hand in the ground and, and lock up with some of these tackle types. But if you get him up, standing up right, you know, gets a little wiggle, a little head start, he's a guy that can still get to the quarterback. A finesse pass rushing. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, yes. we had one similar to that. Uh Alex McAllister. I don't know if the fans remember him, but he was it took forever for him to get decent weight to get on the field. And when he did, it was just he he killed with finesse moves and ended up going to the to the league, didn't last that long. But 
Um, got to. <laughs> yeah, they got to. Yeah. A lot of people never get it, get in the door. Um, so yeah, right now the starting corners are, are Brown, um, the older Brown, and uh, Porter. Um, just to me, I'm like, well, this has kind of been around Robin and trying to figure out. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if uh, younger Brown Damari comes in. And, and ends up maybe solidifying one of the spots because it just haven't found any consistency there. Chris Graves is another guy, flashes, no consistency yet, but he did come in young. So he still still got a little more learning to do. Um, it will be, to me, when we go play on Saturdays, that will be my most concerning position, will be the cornerbacks. Um, just, you know, and, that, and that's why I mentioned also the, the Juco corner as an opportunity as well. Just got to get better there. Ain't no, ain't no sugar coating it. We had a pretty good class, but not everybody was going to be ready to go. Um, maybe if we were able to hold on to Kamani, he could have been a guy maybe. Maybe I'm still – I was still a little concerned with him, even with just uh, some of the weight concerns there. I thought he might might get a little bullied sometimes. But um, as of now, the guys that we brought in, good class, I would say tomorrow we have the best chance of jumping in. But again, and that's why that that wide receiver uh, board is so so uh, so widespread as it is right now. Um, at the safety room, we we got James Williams back using red, no contact, but he's running around doing the drills. So um, he had a torn labrum, got that repaired, and um, he is back out there with the team. So that that's really good news. Get him back out there. Nothing else really shaking up too much in the safety position. I think we'll be good there with Cam Kitchens, um, James Williams. Um, Jaden Davis will be a rotational guy. Marquise Williams, a guy uh, they really like. Again, a little, still a little slight of frame, but a good ball hawk um, and good fluid guy out there. He's a guy that, yeah, could probably use another year to to put on some more weight as far as um, being able to take on, you know, tackling. Uh, if he's if he's coming up against, you know, maybe a back that, get, that gets out to the outside, that would be probably his biggest deficit in this game right now. But uh, all in all, does look good out there. Uh, uh, linebackers. Uh, I think the biggest news coming out of that is uh, Kiko Francisco. He He's going to start. Um, they've been impressed with him. Again, looks the part, physical frame, uh, has control of the defense already. So they've been playing a little bit with, with some of the lineups, but he's been one of the more consistent. He does um, fit more of the physical prototype. Pushing, I think, for the alternate, uh, for the other side would be Keontra Smith has is, is been doing his thing. Um, counts the dog, look undersized, but he's faster than a flag, so you do get that upside of him. He does have the speed, he does have more speed than the flag. A flag, though, has, has also reshaped himself. Said he's down about 10 pounds. Um, he just thought it was necessary so that he could get quicker himself. When you say I think it's an in- yourself, I'd be thinking about the body shape of the girls wearing. Man. <laughs> I think it's an improved room in general. Um, from the young guys we brought in, but uh, obviously you don't want to lean on them yet. Wesley Besaint is will be definitely playing a lot again. He he picked up snaps again at uh, the end of last year. If you're asking me who probably starts, I would go Kiko and Wesley. Will probably be my two um be my two starting linebackers. I think again though the room is improved, uh, not killers or nothing like that, but just an improved room altogether. It'll be better than it has been over the last couple of years. And some of these young guys, Chase Smith's another guy that's been out with injuries that hopefully we get back in fall. He's another athletic guy that I think plays good, uh, could play good linebacker ball as well. But again, he's just been one of those banged up dudes. 